I'm on game, Grumps. Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge, Rouge searching for? And am I drunk? Why can't I say Rouge searching? <laughs> Rouge searching. It's tough. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Zell, Zell. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect time for the music to start a new song. Boo! Yourself, yourself, yourself. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to episode four of Sonic Murder Mystery. Tails is currently it's in the, the library. Of Sonic the Hedgehog. What? I keep saying Sonic Murder Mystery. It's the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sorry. It's the name of the game. The mystery murder of Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> murder mystery. The story of the murder. The story. The, the mysterious <laughs> murderiest murder of the mystery. Okay, so Tails is in the library. We're talking to Espio and Vector, and we're just gathering evidence so we can interrogate them. Yep. So let's take a look at those books, Aaron. Okay. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Well, Sonic's he doesn't. Dead. Yeah, he doesn't need you. <laughs> like. Needs uh, you less than anyone else, really. There's really no hurry. Yeah. We're on a train, so nobody can leave. You, you have, essentially, eternity to get uh, this figured out. All right, let's move on, then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. <gasps> they have One Punch Man! Number seven! <laughs> That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user, it's the user guide, it's, oh my god. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. <gasps> Do you think that's how Sonic was able to steal the conductor's wife? What? Thank you for bringing that up, the conductor comes in. <laughs> Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Not fucking likely, maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Do you have a notepad or? I thought you had a notepad. All right, let's see if we can interrogate Espio now. Fancy a poem. Oh, no, not enough. All right. Maybe we can try Vector, yeah. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. That guy's very one track minded. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stain apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? In Sonic's body. <laughs> you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Oh, oh dang. All right. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. Sorry I asked. The murder mystery is more important. <laughs> then why would you show the menu to me? Boy, he's sassy. Come on, Glarf the Cat. Why would you tease him like that? Well, was an <laughs> option. And there I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Now I'm gonna eat you! Look, Glarf the Cat. <laughs> cat. <laughs> You've made him a fool. Come on, Glarf the Cat. Smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. I'm Boo Boo! Yeah! Yeah! I smooth things over, <laughs> but at what cost? At what cost? Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. <gasps> when Shadow left the library car, he locked the store on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. <laughs> also, a surprising lack of statements about the unlocked door that was supposed to be locked. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vesker and Espio to find out what really happened. Uh, Amy unlocked it. Ooh, dip. We should really confirm Vector and Espio's stories before moving on to the next car. Oh God, are you just saying that because you want to look at the books longer? Either way, <laughs> we should get back to the investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so shy about liking books. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Okay. I may be a butcher, but oh, I already got- Yep, yeah. this already happened. Mm. Knife. Start the interrogation. Okay. Start the in okay. Fancy a poem? What'll it be? Space. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. Damn, that was pretty fucking sick. 
I think it was supposed to be read like a limerick. Uh -huh. Oh, well. What caused you to drop the vase? I was killing this guy. Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Okay. Very well. well Aaron, please interrogate him. It won't let me. Yes, it will. Oh. What the fuck? It had a whole thing where he was like, we have enough clues now. Oh. How did I not- That's okay. So- Oh, that's you. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. It's a Libby's. Glarf the cat and I are here to confirm two <laughs> things. Why if Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card? But she's like, <laughs> Why did you leave the library card? <laughs> <laughs> what? I think I skipped a bunch of dialogue. I think so too. You mashed it. Is there a way to. No. Nope. The old text? Nope. Alright. I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car was a chick magnet, so figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SPO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Right? <laughs> Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen! He's a rapid reader! <laughs> it must have been a good read. What was the book? The Bernstein Bears' First Day at School. <laughs> SBO doesn't owe you that, Detective. Let the man live. Wow. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. <laughs> Cliff the Cat, could you help me out? All right, Glarif the Cat. What book do we think Espio may have been reading? The Manual. The only book in my thing. <gasps> uh, the, uh, A manual? Uh, you think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta run fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Oh god, it goes so what? fast. Shit. I'm jumping oh. over rings. Oh, oh I'm no. being such a douche. <laughs> you are grasping, I know it. We got this, Glare of the Cat. Let's try again. <laughs> Think, damn you. Think of Sonic running so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Whoops. Getting a little harder. What the fuck is this? Whoa. Oh. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stop! <laughs> Did the Sonic in your brain fall down again? Yes. <laughs> Hurry up and think, damn you! Alright, that's good. There's just so many things happening. Yeah. You gotta wind it. You wind it. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Alright, Ninja Stars. Left the cat streaming gear. <laughs> nice! There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Oh, that was me. Next question. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SPO. Hey now! You're an all-star! I won't have you insulting my pal like this! I'm gonna get my game on. <laughs> Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. That's not what you said last night. Uh, apologies, SPO! A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. You know we're like friends outside of this, right? Like... <laughs> yeah, that's... Not to be weird about it. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Glare of the cat, if you don't mind. <gasps> Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. You just lie. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. What page should I quiz him on? Page 14. Okay. I'm presuming he didn't get very far. 
Uh, okay, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping this train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Unless that incriminates me, in which case, trains, what are trains? <laughs> Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought under the train, ensuring passenger safety. So that's where my knife went. Oh yeah. Seems like Espio aced that question. Clear the cat, hit him with another one. Oh okay, which pace do I choose? Uh, 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Glarf the Cat! Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Why would he make the... If he owns the... makes the rules, he could probably get on the train anytime he wants. Okay. Gotcha, which pace should I pick last? 420. Nice. <laughs> what was implemented <laughs> to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travels for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. And now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Pee into this cup. <laughs> Go on. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. What, that he's smart? Yeah. Oh, there goes Espio. He's got poet's brain. <laughs> You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Isn't that right, SBI? He like slaps him with his giant hand on the back and he's like, Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> Jesus! Don't we, don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. I mean, he read the whole fucking book, clearly. It depends on how fast the murder is. But he if they were shot, it could take seconds. But he answered all of my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I, I, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Huh. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we ca. Espio, Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem? <laughs> Problem? <laughs> like the <laughs> troll face? <laughs> Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. <laughs> okay. Glare for the cat! What? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, glare for the cat? Think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading. But what? Um, is it the lock? Oh yeah, because of Shadow. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what has this to do with anything? We're up, Glarf the Cat. Let's get our argument together. Time to play an approximation of Sonic the Hedgehog. I love it. How does this work? There's no licensing for... This is a real game. The, like, super real? Yeah, this is released by Sega. Wow, that's awesome. I had no idea. I thought it was, um, like a fan-made studio game. Oh, man. Well, I mean, it. yes, but... Sega bought it? I I don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, give me rings, dude. Fuck. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh! Not enough cash, stranger. Hmm. Consider my time wasted by one measly little ring. <laughs> Let's give it another go, Gwerf! And yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Boy. Getting yeah. Rings. Oh. I'm the ring boy. I'm the one who collects. Got all the rings. 
Oh, man. Oh. Uh, oh! oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, Aaron. You saltwater sailor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! Sh Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Game gamers naturally wear Crocs. Yeah. Maybe that's what the con connection they were trying to make. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated, reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. It was so engaging. All this talk about, like, windows and, like, the windows. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? I will, you I will see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then, then whose juicy tip is this? <laughs> oh! Sorry, what were you saying? No, it's, it's, go ahead. Then, at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Glarf the Cat. One that I would love for Espio to solve. But I'm not the detective. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. Yeah, honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I, rem I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. I couldn't. I mustn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Would anybody like coffee? <laughs> uh... I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of am with Espio on this. Like, yeah. you're just like really reading a book. You, sometimes you don't notice things. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! <laughs> We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. <laughs> all right, genius rapper. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, yeah, what's the... Lay it on me, genius rapper. <laughs> yeah. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Uh... Oh... Maybe this, I guess? The layout? I don't know. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Well, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, <laughs> Blue Street, I like the idea of this being the thing that all businessmen are stuck doing. Eh, like oh, when they're trying to think something over in a meeting, <laughs> their brains are actually in Sonic the Hedgehog land. Murphy, tell us your idea. And fill out that form in triplicate. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, me, 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 me. This dream, he's got to escape from the city. I'll make it through. Light bulb. Nice, you did it. You, you, you master. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walks down this straight path, there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Um, oh. This one, I guess? Where could SBO? Oh. That's you. Oh, where could SBO have been for Shadow to not see him? I was looking for a place. Uh, here? 
No, they're all kind of like within view. Shadow was where? He came in through he, that door. Well, it's saying like, if you did this, mm. where would you have been able to sit where you wouldn't see that? I guess this the, one? Oh, I guess, I guess the one behind the wall. This? No, no, no. This? Yes. But that's... Which way are these chairs? I'm assuming this means it's forward. It's facing towards the table. But... But I mean, that's the only one that like is completely covered on the way to the door, from door to door. Okay. Well, I don't know what this is. I guess it's a shelf? Yeah. Oh, I see. Ah. Uh, Wait, what? Why the shelves? Uh... I don't know. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. <laughs> yes, of course. The place where I wouldn't have been able to see Shadow. That's where I was sitting. <laughs> I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was definitely sitting down. In fact, I wasn't even on a train. Is this a train? What is a train? <laughs> that confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because a bookcase is in the way. <gasps> There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. Like I, I said. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. The tip could be juicier. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Bye! Wow! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Nice. Well. I'm exhausted. A lot of murdering today. I'm gonna crash here for a little bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow, the murderer. <laughs> oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. Like I keep my murdering knives. Yeah, nice and tight. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Claire of the Cat. Let's see what's next. <laughs> it's just like... Smash cut to like flies over Sonic's body. <laughs> Coming! We're having such a fun adventure, aren't we? <laughs> you sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. But I'll be back here and I'm gonna read some fucking books. I'm gonna buy this whole place out. <laughs> Whoa! Boop, 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 Sign boop, me boop, up. Boop. Let me Let's play see. a metal game all day. Yeah. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. <laughs> we visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. <gasps> it's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the Microwave Master with you. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Yeah, I'm yeah. hot. I'm that bitch. Oh, sure. I can't be Glarf the Cat with the 40-inch cat dick. <laughs> But you microwave one spaghetti dish. <laughs> uh, the, I, tell tell yeah. him, Rouge, we're gonna need the help. Please? That's my name. <laughs> All right, I've been hunting for treasure rumored to be stored here in the trade. Let's give him the same voice. <laughs> treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, pure purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew- Oh my god, I cannot speak. <laughs> Since I'm part business tycoon, am, do I smell burning toast? Part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. 
a Fabergé egg. Imagine that. <laughs> Do you remember the um, Game Grumps episode where we talked about the Fabergé burrito? No. <laughs> We're like a two million dollar burrito made with diamonds and filled with meat. <laughs> I love that idea. No. Uh, wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday party invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Shab Fabergé chow, chow egg is here in this train car. I think you are smelling burnt toast. Locked in a safe. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I'll get back to it. Uh, next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye. Wow. My brain is fucking on the struggle bus. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good video. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs>